Uh, hi, thanks for watching. So we're here uh, again at the uh, Arlux 100 series booth, and now I'm covering the uh, the Mark 4 model, which is still on sale. So let's change the, uh, the mode. So after boot up, we'll be in here. See. So the initial next screen here. So now we switch it off and we turn it on again. Let's see what happens. See? Instant black screen the same running on the NTSC, which does not happen to uh, on the uh, the newer uh, Mark 5 and Mark 6 model. So that's one of the biggest differences with the uh, next screen uh, phenomenon. But there's more that I'm going to show you. So let's go to the video shooting mode uh, uh, setting. Okay. See? Difference. So uh, there's an additional MP4 with the older cameras. I'm going to show you what the. Uh, okay. So not much to say here. You do have a, a 720p30. Um, That's not bad. Yeah. So. But. But when I switch this. See? So what happens? So. Uh, the older uh, Sony cameras with AV6 and AV6 video mode would have these three additional uh, settings. So, 60p or 59.94p, 28 uh, Mbps, and then 24p or 23.98p, 24m, and there's a lower, 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 uh, higher compression 17m. So the progress basically the all the um, the progressive mode, AV60 progressive mode, has, is gone, simply gone from um, the newer models. But as you can see, the XAVCS high def is still here. 60, 30. Okay, so it's, the uh, settings are a little bit less here. The new ones uh, have uh, a few more settings, and then. 4K, same four settings, but the difference is here. So uh, a few more of the uh, progressive shooting modes have been moved from the AVC HD mode to uh, XAVCS mode, and I'm not sure why, but I think it would be um, a good idea for Sony to uh, at least uh, retain <coughs> full video. Uh, settings capability when shooting in the AV60 video standard. So this one here is, um, you can say, it's compliant, fully compliant with the AVC HD progressive mode, but these two are not. So with um, AV60, it only goes back to uh, interlace only, so that's a problem. So so what's the problem with an XAVC S codec? Well, it could be that uh, you, you need a separate codec to, to play 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 back those files uh, on the computer. But with AVCHD, basically uh, any um, uh, third party uh, uh, player had codec like um, K Lite would accept the uh, transport stream files or MTS or M2TS files. I'm not sure about the XAVCS, but this is something that uh, users have to be very careful. So XAVCS might be a good thing. It's being used. Even in the uh, professional uh, video workflow, like broadcasting, as shown in the um, the uh, XXR NX80, which only has X X XAVCS, but that's actually a full fledged full function uh, ENG camera used uh, by certain uh, divisions, like uh, showbiz division on uh, uh, from uh, TV stations. So, so Mark Four and Mark Five has a radical change with the video shooting. As well as the uh, the system next screen here, so I'm going to turn this off. So why would you want to get a Mark IV instead of Mark V? Of course, there's a, a price difference here. All these price difference. Fifty nine ninety, all, all around six thousand. It's uh, seventy three hundred. You see a difference. And then we have the Mark III here. I'm not going to cover Mark III and then what do we get? 10k, 10k for the Mark 6, 10k is around 1250 US, around, around that price, I mean, for just a small camera with seemingly good performance, but uh, uh, again with uh, uh, quite a lot of flaws, 
are you going to live with all these flaws? Well, I would say, I mean, I, I, I like the improvements, but the manual system would need a, a heavy redo. So, so personally, I'm not going to choose Sony. I want to go for uh, wait for any new variants from, say, uh, Canon, uh, where it's uh, it's uh, market share and where it's uh, it's uh, power shot series cameras are really great. And I'm using actually using one right now to shoot these video clips, and uh, I, uh, even with the limited uh, video features, I really have no regrets. So, so that's the aisle. And there's the uh, RX10 series, and I'm next up next. I'm going to get there. I'm going to show you more with the RX10 series. Basically, same thing. So stay tuned.